Yo, what is up everyone? It's Gad here, and in this episode, what we're going to be doing is adding in this camera shoulder swap, and then also when we crouch down, it's going to move the camera up and down as well smoothly. So it's really simple to add in, so let's just get straight into this. So before we actually get started, let me know in the comments what you want to see for the next video. I'm thinking either we can have a crosshair which changes size when we're running and walking and stuff like that. And then the other thing I'm thinking is having bullet impact particles and like bullet holes when we shoot things. So let me know what you think and let's carry on with this video. So what we're going to want to do is go onto the player here and then open up the aim state manager. And then in here we're going to want to add a few more variables. And the first one is going to be a float. And then this is going to be for the X follow position. And this is going to be what's changing depending if we press the shoulder swap button or not. And then we want to have another float for the Y follow position. And this is going to be when we're crouching up and down or not. And then as well for the Y follow position, what we're going to need is going to have an OG Y follow position or OG Y position. And that's just because we need to remember what height the camera needs to go back up to. And now what we're going to do is add a serialized field. And it's going to be another float and it's going to be for the crouch camera height. And then there's only going to be two more. The next one's going to be another serialized field. And it's going to be a float again. And this is going to be called the shoulder swap speed. And then we're going to use the same speed for when we're crouching as well. But I'm just going to call this shoulder swap speed. And then I'm just going to set this to 10 straight away. And now the last thing we need is going to be a reference our movement state manager. I'm just going to call this moving. And then this is where we're going to find out if we're crouching or not. And now what we're going to do is in the start get the movement state manager. And then also get the X follow position and the OG Y position. So first of all I'm just going to go moving. And then set this equal to get component. And then it's going to be movement state manager. And then after this, I'm just going to set the X follow position to be equal to the cam follow position dot local position. And this is going to be dot X. And now finally, what we're going to do is get the OG Y position, set this equal to the cam follow position dot local position dot Y. And then we can just set the Y follow position to be equal to the OG follow position. Otherwise, the camera is going to be wanting to go down to like zero straight away if this isn't set to anything. And now down below, I'm going to create a new function here. I'm just going to call this void and move camera. I'm sure you can think of a better name than me. And now what we're going to do here is check for the input that we want to change our camera side. So I'm just going to go if and input dot get key down. And then the key code is going to be key code dot left dot. So you can put whatever you want there really. And then after this, what we're just going to do is set the X follow position to be equal to minus X follow position. And so what this is doing, because we get the X follow position at the start, when we press left alt for the first time, it's going to put it to like minus 0.5 or whatever the offset is. And then we press it the second time, it's going to go minus minus 0 0.5 and be back at a positive. So it's just going to keep looping backwards and forwards. And the next thing we're going to do is check if we're crouching or not. So we just go if, and then it's going to be the moving dot current state. And see if it's equal to the moving dot crouch. And so if this is true, the Y camera follow position is going to be equal to the crouch camera height. And then else, so if we're not crouching, we're just going to set the Y follow position to be equal to the OG follow position or the OG Y position. And then now this is nearly finished, what we need to do here is just make a new vector 3. And then I'm just going to call this new follow position. And then set this equal to a new vector 3. And then so for the first one, it's going to be the X follow position. The second one is going to be the Y follow position. And then finally, it's going to be the cam follow position dot local position dot Z because that doesn't want to change. And now we've got the new positions that we want. What we're going to do is set the cam follow position dot local position and then set this equal to vector three it's going to be dot lerp. And then so we're going to lerp from the cam follow position dot local position. And then we're going to lerp to the new follow position. And then for the speed, it's going to be the shoulder swap speed. And then times this by time dot delta time. So that's pretty much everything for this. We just need to call this in our update function. So at the bottom here, I'm just going to type in move camera. And then before I forget, I'm going to set a crouch camera height up here. So I'm just going to set this to 0 0.6. And now that's everything. We can go ahead and test this. So now in Unity, you can see if I press the left alt button, it's going to swap to the other side. And then we do it again, it's going to go back to the other side. We can spam it, and it's just going to be nice and smoothly between each one. And now finally, when I press the crouch key, you can see it just smoothly going up and down with them. 
So that's everything for this video. Like I said, let me know in the comments what video you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.